morning guys and welcome back to my channel where we're about that breaking cycle to life now for today's encouragement we're going back to the book of second kings and we're going one chapter before and that is chapter 4 and it's verses 8 to 37 and it's entitled Elisha raises the Shunammite son so of course if you're not familiar with this I'm going to give a summary and the scripture can be found in the description box below but here is the reference okay so Elisha and the Shunammite son guys there are so many lessons to learn out of this one story I might do a part two another time but I think I'll focus on one today so this story is Elisha Elisha the prophet um, usually went to Shuman right that's a city and whenever he went there he was always greeted with a very hospitable woman, right? And she's entitled in the Bible, Shunammite woman, right? And every time he went to this city, this lady would feed him and just take care of him until eventually she then made a house. She made a little room for him on her house and so that whenever he came by he could not only get food not only get something to drink but to go and sleep if he is tired right so elisha was so was so appreciative of what she did that he prophesied over her that she would get a son and she was like listen to me mm -mm. don't play with me right about no don't tell me something and then don't it won't come to pass but he prophesied it and one year later she conceived and she got a son so once one one day while the son was out with the father working he became ill he fell ill and by the time he basically returned to the house he he was dead right so the lady was like listen to me this prophet mm -mm. how can you tell me that you're going to give me you're going to call upon god to grant me this son and then you're going to have him die no we're going to work this something out because you're not going to play with me and my heart like that you're not going to give me something and then take it away no stop mm -mm. right so she placed her son on the prophet's bed and she set out on her journey to find this prophet right <laughs> So while she was on her journey, while she was on her journey, while she was on her journey, she told everyone that basically asked her where she was going. It is well, right? And then in, when she when she was approaching Elisha, she was close to where he was staying. Um, Elisha saw her from afar off and then sent his assistant to go and meet her. And his assistant was his assistant was Gehazi. And when Gehazi went to to her um she she didn't even tell the prophets she didn't even tell the prophet's assistant what was happening she just said it is well and she went ahead and directly to the prophet and said listen to me she was in the she was in distress but i think if it was a jamaican woman or basically me i'd be like listen to me this child that you gave me probably with tears too <laughs> this child that you gave me hmm? He's dead. Why? Why is he dead? Do something because I don't understand why you took this child from me. I love this child. I grew with this child. And then you're going to take the child from me? No, let's not do this right now. Right? And Elisha, seeing her distress on her face, he then went, he then sent Gehazi with his rod and told him to place the rod on the on the child's body to see if he would awaken but the child did not awake from death right sleep death right so when he returned he told elisha that no this is not happening so he, elisha and the woman they returned to the house and elisha basically placed his body all over the the child's body and prayed and asked god to revive the child and he was then raised from the dead and the lady got her son back so guys 
this is the first thing that I want to. This is the first one I'll do part two in another in, a, in another video, probably sometime later on in the month, right? <sighs> or next month, sometime in a later video, right? Guys, be kind. Be kind to people. Be hospitable because you never know what blessings you can receive. Just as though she was just doing her due diligence and taking care of this man because she just wanted to take care of him. He was a man of God and he was doing the work of God, right? You see how being kind to people, how being considerate of their needs and not having them to ask or anything of the sort. She just saw him coming to the city every week and in doing that, guys, in seeing and in seeing him every week she was like you know let me let me take care of him let me feed him let me let me prepare a room for him she went above and beyond for this person right this man of god and god then turned around and blessed her and he gave her a double blessing because it seemed as if her situation would have just ended when her son died initially but having that faith to go to the man of god again and say listen to me my son is dead what are you going to do i need him alive that was god also working in her favor because of the fact that she because she was kind to the prophet and he saw the distress in her face and since he was the one that basically promised her promised her through god this gift and he knows that she is a sincere person he then proceeded to revive the child. And that is how God will bless you. If there's anything in your life that is bothering you. Guys, if we, if we exercise that trait of being kind to others, just being caring. At some point in that relationship with that person, you'll see God. You'll see God without people asking you. You'll see God just turn it around and start to bless you that like just blessings upon blessings upon blessings blessings that you didn't even ask for he'll give it to you because you took care of his servant it doesn't have to be a preacher or a pastor or anyone there are many people out there that are sick and in need right and those are his people and he wants us to take care of them without having to ask them if they need this or need that just see the need and fulfill the need and go above and beyond not just fulfill the need but go above and beyond and you'll see how that will just turn around into blessings for you honestly honestly guys be kind be considerate F fulfill needs it doesn't matter how small how small or how limited or lacking you think you are there's always someone worse and when we see someone in need we should always we should always aim we should always endeavor to help and that's our encouragement for today guys just as you go about today do one act of kindness until you can do many acts of kindness in one day and then instead of doing the act of kindness alone Go above and beyond for at least one person today and you'll see God start blessing you. And you're not doing it for the favor of God. You're not doing it for the blessings. Let's not make that the, the motive of why we're being kind. Let's not get into that. Scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. No, no, no. Just be genuinely kind. Be considerate. Be, be loving to someone today. And... You'll see how God, if you're doing it from a genuine heart, you'll see how God will turn it around and bless you. And even though that blessing maybe may look as if it's really taken away, he will then, because of course, with every blessing, guys, the devil is going to come and fight. Just as though he fought with that Shunammite, Shunammite lady. He's going to fight. But God can still revive your situation. And in reviving your situation... He will bless you double. Okay? So, yeah. That's our encouragement for today. Be kind. Always. Bye-bye. Have a great day.